And here I'm at Southport, hoping to see and ride on some of the old 507 units operated by Merseyrail, which are in the process of being replaced by new 777 units, which have a lovely livery. I'm using a Lancashire Day Ranger ticket, so hopefully I can just uh, spend the whole day going back and forth with a few extra little journeys thrown in. Good start to the day at Carnforth Station. The ticket vending machine is not working and the station ticket office closed a couple of years ago. There's quite a few people waiting for the train to Manchester Airport. First train of the day using a Lancashire Ranger ticket. Hopefully I can buy one on the train. Woo! The train was absolutely packed, changing at Bolton for Southport, which I've never done before. Bolton is one of my favourite stations. I mean, look at that beautiful canopy. That's not this train, of course. The screen says the train is formed of two carriages, but I can see four, and I better jump on. That's good timing. As I get off the train from Bolton, the train leaves for Liverpool, one of the old trains, soon to be no more, the Class 507. I'm very fond of Southport Station, I do like the roof, plus the fact that you can use uh, 150s and so forth to get to Manchester Victoria. In the background, you can just, you can just see one of the Mersey Rail units, and I might go on that one, it depends. I'm in need of a coffee, so I might wait for the next one. We'll see what Mersey Rail throw at me today. These workhorses of Mersey Rail will soon no longer be with us. Aren't they lovely? The guy on the ticket gate told me that most of the trains today are the old style. If I want to see the new ones, I've got to go to Wormskirk, which uh, is on the agenda, so I don't have an issue with that. Look at that, isn't it lovely? Reaching of brakes. And the doors glide open and the people glide off the train. Well, some do. <laughs> Timpsons. I do love these little things, these quirks of life you get in shops. I didn't expect to see this at Southport on a train to Manchester, Victoria, but here it is and you'll see a snap of the pantograph in a minute. Here we go. Ooh, some sparks. And you'll see some of the new trains in the background. too busy. <laughs> yeah. And I think you can walk through from coach to coach. Yeah, that was great. Well, I read online that Waterloo is the busiest station in Britain that um, could have fooled me, so I think I'll jump on again. football stadium being built and a new train arriving going to Ormskirk. I might jump on this one. Ormskirk, wow. 
Wow, look at that. Smooth. No ding ding this time. It's good to see that the seats coincide with the windows. Well, they're very hard. Step free access. Yep, step free access, so I stepped off. <laughs> Celebrating the Eurovision. What lovely trains, apart from the horrible hard seats. And this is Maghull, which is a really nice station. Oh, a footbridge. These old metal footbridges, their days are numbered because of accessibility lifts, which are being installed everywhere. So I'm enjoying taking some pictures of Maghull station. And I'm standing in the ticket office, and people are buying tickets at the ticket office. I'm avoiding the rain. <laughs> and here comes an Ormskirt to Liverpool train approaching Maghull. And a lot of the Mersey rail stations have been modernised, so when I saw this, this station I jumped off the train to take some pictures. And here's one of the new 777 units approaching. They're nice trains apart from the rock hard seats. Look at everybody cowering under the canopy. I'm under a signal by the way, which is sort of keeping the rain off. You can also shelter in the pub next to the station if you wish. Now departing. This station is super, I think, complete with an Amazon hub. Not that it's my job to advertise them. A guy just asked me if he could be in the photo, and when I said yes, okay, and pointed the camera at me, he changed his mind. Look at that. I love those little um, leaning posts between the carriages for people that are standing, so they can uh, lean their bottoms or whatever against those leaning pads. Ormskirk, now a pair of dead-end stations with one shared platform. Of course the history of the station is that it was once a through route from Liverpool Exchange to Preston and there were expresses from Liverpool to Glasgow that came this way and then British Rail cut the track to prevent through trains running. Almost an act of vandalism really, severing a railway line. There's even a separate departure indicator, one for Northern Rail, which I'm next to, and one down the other end for Mersey Rail. Why do two train companies have their own departure boards at the same station? It really is bizarre. It's typical of the way that train companies think in their silos as if they're the only train company in the whole wide world. More uh, railway property to let. That would make a good um, shop or cafe or something. And this is the front of Wormskirk station. Quite a nice station really. And I'm very pleased to see that Mersey Rail do at least put train departure information on their stations. Train companies should, but Scott Rail don't for some reason. And being Stadler units, they of course are articulated. Let's have a look at the articulation. Similar to the uh, Greater Anglia trains operating in um, the Norwich area. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to sponsor me with a coffee as a reward for making these films, please see the link here. Chaos at Liverpool Lime Street, lots of crowds and pouring with rain. A few trains cancelled because of the uh, Aslef dispute. The next train to depart from platform 5 will be the 4039 Northern service to Blackpool North. That's me!